I don't know. It was a catastrophe. Like it was, it was bad. And that was an East High School student talking about a fight inside the school just last week. 27 First News has been asking for surveillance video of the incident, and today the school district gave it to us. Good evening. I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Erica Thomas. That fight ended with police using pepper spray to get students under control, and school leaders are still trying to figure out how to fix the problems. 27 Investigates reporter Amanda Smith has been covering this story since that March 8th fight. She's live in the studio with what that video shows. Amanda? Dave and Erica, students at East High School told me about a chaotic scene inside the school last week. Now, police reports say two officers were faced with getting 40 rowdy students under control. Here's a first look at just part of that video. You can see a large crowd starting to gather and fight. Around the edges of the screen, more and more students come in. 900 students were on campus that day. Only about 50 were involved in the fights. We're told it started over an argument over scuffed shoes. Four minutes later, police use pepper spray and the crowd begins to break up. And here you see a student on the ground. Later, two students were arrested when they refused to stop fighting. School was closed the next day and the full student body didn't come back to classes until four days later. School security officers are Youngstown police officers hired to work in the schools when they're off duty. Now, I reached out to school security chief Bill Morvey. About an hour ago, he got back to me with this message. He praised the first officers at the scene, and he says they got a dangerous situation under control, and he says, in part, their quick response directly contributed to minimize the risk of serious injury, not only to officers, but students and staff as well. No serious injuries were reported during the riot. Reporting live in the studio, Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.